All righty. Well, the National Trials Annual for the Ages and 2024, just as I predicted more than six months ago, that the guard, as far as Jamaica's athletics is concerned, is changing. Well, the guard has almost completely changed, with the exception of a few familiar faces. A lot of the people who will now make up the Jamaica's Olympic team to Paris in a month's time are, well, let me let me put it simply, there are quite a few fresh faces. And I um, want to just do a quick review. Um, Sunday night was the final night of the trials. And of course, you know, there were some blistering performances, the, the hurdles, both male and female hurdles, um, provided some, you know, significant uh, talking points. Um, in the first instance, we looked at, you know, the, the Akira Nugent, who ran a blistering 12.28 seconds, which for a, uh, for a while was the, the fastest time in the world. Um, for this year until, of course, the U.S., which had their trials running at the same time, would have eclipsed that later on in the evening. But 12.28 seconds by Akira Nugent, 22-year-old, she basically separated herself from the rest of the field and is on her way to the Olympic Games to represent Jamaica, to do herself and her family proud. I um, want to big up Daniel Ance Williams, who she... Um, Basically, you know, having never been to the Olympic Games, I remember, if you remember a couple of years ago, she had a, an issue at the, the stadium during the trials. Well, Danielle Ance Williams is also on her way to the Olympic Games as well. Um, Ance turned in a pretty solid performance, 12.53 seconds. And, of course, Janique Brown, finished third with a time of um, 12.61 seconds. Um, Megan Tapper, <coughs> Mark, you only three people can make the team. You know, it was really di disconsoling to watch her break down after um, finishing fourth in 12.69 seconds. And, of course, her Olympic dream ended. I forgive um, the minister some kudos, Bob Grange, not my, not my side, you know, well, I don't really care about the politics, but you have to give Bob Grange, you know, some kudos. She, uh, and, um, you know, came out and, you know, did uh, her best to try to console um, uh, the, the young lady um, for just you know i mean megan tapper was the really really disconsolate and it was really nice to see the minister you know and you know some other people who basically came out gave a hand um of course young megan tapper still a young 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 woman there is the the grand prix circuit that is out there and you know she um nothing to feel bad about um now the men's the men's event was equally enthralling you know the the ju just one hundredth of a second separated um the 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 the, the first the, the first three um hurdlers and of course um that you know it it took quite a little while for the the timekeepers and the the you know the the, the record keepers to dis disentangle the the end result. Um, in the end, Broadbell was was um, given the, the 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 event in 13.18 seconds. Um, the same time was was um, uh, handed to um, to. Orlando Bennett, who finished second, and of course Hansa Parchment had to 
endure some nerves because it took a little while for them to <laughs> dis disentangle him. It's almost a blanket finish that um, came through the tape. And so it did take some time to make the this the the you know the 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 put the effort together to disentangle everybody. And so um Hans Parchment will will be heading to Paris to defend his Tokyo title. Um he finished in a time of thirteen point one nine seconds. The another event that was really um really sent the tongues wagging was the the four hundred meters um woman and of course again you have to be happy for these young ladies um young nikisha price finished first turned in a, a scintillating performance um she is of course uh, having a, a, a banner year on the track um uh, having dominated the NCAA championships back here in the United States. Um, she won the event in 50.01 seconds and um, this was her first national title. Diminutive but you know the don't make her size fool you. Um, you know and this is a woman who, is, who has been running under 50 seconds and we're going to talk about that in a little bit. Um, Stacey Ann Williams uh, finished second, um, 50.56, and of course Janelle Bromfield um, finished uh, third in uh, season's best, 51.24 seconds. Now, um, of course, world champion Sherika Jackson, you know, took the the 200 meters, and um, Sherika basically just did enough to 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 um to, to secure her third um national championships and um you know it was clear she wasn't really going out going all out and um she took along with her L Lene Tava Thomas who you will recall um gave up our US um the opportunities to run for the U.S. She chose to to represent Jamaica, and she you now with her <coughs> Jamaican passport is on her way to Paris after finishing second um, behind um, Jackson's 22.29. She finished uh, 22.34, and um, Nisha Berger finished third in 22.39 seconds. So. Looks like we're gonna, you know, we we gonna be defending the sprints. We talked um, in a previous video about the men, um, the the 200 meters. We definitely will be competitive there. Lady Teva Thomas is not a is not a slouch, and of course there is every expectation that barring anything unforeseen, um, Sherika will return uh, to you know with a double um d double 200 meters um defense having one last last olympics she will we expect her to successfully defend that title so this is the one of the gold medals that all of the pundits in you know from a jamaica standpoint is putting in the win column for for jamaica we expect that this is going to be quite a competitive olympic games there are a lot of new blood that is in the in the team um we expect some fireworks in the in the the field events including the hurdles which is classified as a field event and we e um, equally expect that um, some fireworks on the field as well in terms of the jumps and 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 um both long jump and triple jump um male and female we expect some fireworks it is going to be as I said before, it's a changing of the guard as far as the Jamaican track and field is concerned. We, um, you know, with Shelley and Fraser Price uh, looking to step away, and um, the the 
the, that leaves Sherika to carry the bulk of the work. Um, on the male side, we have the, you know some youngsters again who's coming through, and of course we expect um, young Thompson, um, who nobody had seen him coming, that he will be making a, 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 a solid um, showing on the male side in terms of the sprint. Now, the relays, and I want to speak specifically about the 4 by 400 meters. We, by now, everybody know that Jamaica will have a, a male 4 by 400 meter sprint um, team at, at the Olympic Games this year because we failed to, to, to meet the qualifying standard. And um, that is an embarrassment, if you ask me, but it, it is something that we could almost have predicted because, uh, let me put the thing into perspective, the 400 meters is essentially the event that established Jamaica as a track and field powerhouse all the way back to, to 1948 in London when Herb McKinley, who was tipped to be the, the favorite to win that event, was literally beaten with about beaten about 20 meters um, from the tape. Herb McKinley ran out of gas, and um, you know the the we the his, his compatriot Arthur Wind run past him and took home the gold medal. Um, McKinley finished second for a silver, and of course. Um, Arthur Wind had followed that up with a silver in the 800 meters. So Jamaica was already noted as um, as a, a, a country that could produce quarter milers, and we're going as far back as that. By um, four years later at Helsinki, the Jamaicans went and they took home the 4 by 400 meters and um, in a world record time as well. And, you know, the, the that basically signaled to the world where we were. Um, how have we treated with th those results over the years? I don't think we have done enough to to build a strong quarter set of quarter milers. And we, if we're not careful, the same malady that is affecting the guys is gonna um, at some point start affecting women to run a, to to produce a a 4x400 four meters team, you really need athletes who are running under 45 seconds. 45 and spit. 44 and spit. If you are running 45 and 46, them think they are champs time right now. Right? You can't, you can't really be considered as competitive if you cannot put a team together of four guys who are running uh, um, a steady middle to low 44 seconds and and that's why that's why we couldn't um, provide a, 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 a 4 by 400 meter steam because we have not been putting in the investment I remember Bert Cameron after Bert remember Bert won at Helsinki in um, the, the, what is it 1983 if I remember correctly and after Bert won we it took us um, almost what is it 40 years later right 40 years later for when when the our, our young young fellow there won at um, the, the, the 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 world championships last year but what have we done and that's the question we need to ask ourselves if you're really serious about putting a uh, a quarter mile a team together you have to put in the work and the investment to produce quarter milers who are run 44 and for low 40 44 because outside of that you're going to be uncompetitive if you notice the the in the woman on the woman's side if you now run 49 um 49 and change you are going to find that you are also uncompetitive, right? You you see Sydney McClock in the other night run 
just under 51 seconds a jump a jump over the bars at the four, 400 meters hurdles which tell you at a flat 400 she'll run 49 easy easy right possibly a run 48 and change so that's the direction that this event is going in terms of the time and so on both sides of the table my recommendation is that we need to know see where the smoke is coming towards us and to put in the investment it, it don't make no sense to cry over spilled milk because yeah i want to give the guys kudos for the, the effort last night they failed by just but less than two hundredths of a second um to make the qualifying time but we shouldn't have to come to that remember we also fail with the with the mixed relay for the same reason because we don't have the the personnel and and the investment in terms of what we want to be delivered and those are the, the issues that we're going to have to face if we're not careful we're going to you know find ourselves in jeopardy with a woman as well because the the event is becoming more and more competitive the to run a, to a quarter mile a four by four hundred meters team both men and women you have to now be looking that on the women's side you need to be running you know a, a, a easy 49 48 49 right per per participant in the relay and on the men's side if you're not running 44 and spit don't bother waste your time right maybe you want to think over when me think um this is just my you know little take i did promise that i'll do this wrap up and i want to hear what you guys think about you know my own assessment of where we are and what we're doing um i want to use the opportunity to wish our team all the best i'm not a man who de deal with the luck thing i believe this is a case of where preparation meets with opportunity and as long as these youngsters do the preparation they will make us proud but if you haven't as yet why you hit the, the 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 like button and you know just if you haven't subscribed subscribe to the channel you know I wanna take the time to put um, you know some more commentary out as we get into the Olympics a little bit more incisive commentary um, as to you know what my assessment of our chances um, are going to be over the period of the Olympic Games. Also, going to cover some of the meets that you know will be happening outside of the country and around the, particularly around Europe and and and, and so on as we lead into the Olympic Games. So let me hear from you. Let me hear your comments and. Um, you know, drop your drop your comments and uh, your your feedback in you know, the comment section and let me know. Big respect.